So here in Alexandria, we have lots of outdoor recreation activities. A lot of these would include boating, rafting, kayaking, canoeing. Activities that place you on the water put you at an increased risk for UV exposure and glare. It's also important to protect your eyes. So try to find UV blocking sunglasses, preferably polarized that cut the glare from the sun will help protect your eyes as well. There's also an app that you can use on your iPhone um, that tells you the UV index for your location at any given time. Um, and if the UV index is three or higher, ideally you should be wearing sunscreen and some sort of sun protective clothing. The most important thing about your sunscreen is the SPF or the sun protection factor. And we want that number to be at least 30 or higher. Um, it doesn't typically matter what the brand is or necessarily the formulation, but that number is very important. You do get a little bit of added protection by going to a higher number, but it's not terribly dramatic. So whatever you're willing to wear and reapply, that is what you should go with. Another place that we go wrong with sunscreen is that most of us don't put on enough of it. Um, an average adult should use uh, one ounce of sunscreen with each application, which is the amount in a full shot glass. So it's quite a bit and your sunscreen tube only carries about three to eight ounces. So you should go through your sunscreen pretty quickly. Sunscreen is not waterproof, um, but some of them are labeled as at water resistant or very water resistant. And those would last 40 to 80 minutes. In terms of brands of sunscreen, whatever you are willing to wear is the best for you. I don't have a personal favorite necessarily. Um, we use a variety in my house of both physical and chemical blockers. I do like the Blue Lizard brand. Um, they have a bottle that turns blue when it, the UV index is high and you need sunscreen, so the kids kind of like that. Um, but I also like Aveeno or CeraVe um, and Neutrogena. There's just a lot of good brands out there. I've had other patients ask about sunscreen for children and infants. The American Academy of Pediatrics predominantly recommends um, seeking shade and keeping the skin covered for infants less than six months. Um, but if you do need a little bit of sunscreen, um, that is fine. And I would use a physical blocker with a zinc oxide or the titanium dioxide, um, but try to keep them in the shade with hats and, and keeping their skin covered. Uh, the key factor to take from this is we, we need to go out and we need to enjoy our summer. We need to be able to go outside and have a good time in the sun but we all need to take the steps, the few little steps here and there to help prevent skin cancer and help prevent its development. Wearing a long shirt when you can, wearing sunblock, staying out of the direct sunlight in those times when you can, wearing UV protection sunglasses. A lot of these things we can do will help protect us in the long run, have us not be sunburned at night when we're trying to go to bed and make us feel better in the long run.